everyone welcome back to rts and welcome back to another start to finish video and today we're still playing with the load prompts and of course we're going to talk about glenda the good witch that is what we're going to talk about today but first of all we better talk about the elephant in the room or i should say the donut on the table yes because if you see these photos yum <laughs> come home those are just oh that was just delightful delightful so that's what i'm going to talk about today is this uh pink donut <laughs> yes okay so the load prompt today was uh glenda the good witch and of course alice went into details about that uh part of the movie which was fun so the story prompt she gave us was to scrap a story about something good and yes, this uh, pink donut at Joffrey's Coffee. I'm assuming that's how you say that name. I always call it Jeffrey's. Um, you know how you get used to calling something something and then you can never train your brain to say it right? I always said Jeffrey's, but I think it's pr pronounced Joffrey. And I always wondered if the owner of this company is named Jeffrey and he combined it with the word coffee to get Joffrey. I don't know. Does anybody know that? I'm not familiar with this company, but it's known at Magic Kingdom. And so then the technique prompt that Alice gave us was to <laughs> do a layout with pink and sparkly, or you don't have to, uh, just whatever you think is good. And so when I thought of good and pink, and of course I have my Disney photo box on, uh, laying here beside me, that is exactly what I decided to do because this donut was out of the world. Absolutely, it was so huge. This photo does not do it justice how huge this donut is. It is absolutely a two-person donut. It's so huge, reasonably priced. And of course, you know, I got to tell you something. I don't know if you, you maybe can see it in this photo, but I took my own tea <laughs> when I went to Disney. My English breakfast tea. Yes, I had to take my own tea. <laughs> and so they were so sweet. I said, could I pay for some hot water? And they said, here, you can just have some. I tell you, no matter how many times I go to Disney, people treat me so good there. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe I just give people a smile. I don't know, but people treat me so good at Disney. Can never say that enough. So that is exactly what I'm going to scrapbook today using the low prompt about something good because we know Glenda the Good Witch. She was a good soul. Yes, she was. And so I have these photos here. Now, when I went to print these, I printed these two uh, in four by six. Now, this is what I consider a fax print in my Fuji software. And so it's a four by six photo, but it cuts down a little bit. And so then that that prevents from cutting off too much of my image. I love that option. But again, that's my software that does that. And then uh, I just printed them both in wallets because I may use one in a four by six, one in a wallet, you know, like that, or I guess like that, or I barely could use this one and then print like that. I could do that. Or I may use both wallet or both four by six. However, I decide to do that. Uh, when I'm printing photos and I can't make a decision, I usually print something in wallet two on one. <laughs> you can't beat that. Okay. So, um, again, uh, I'm talk, uh, in my brain, one of my subscribers, KK, she had said about taking a children's line and could I do show how to do a layout that is an everyday topic type layout using kids lines, because sometimes when you're using a kids line, you know, you kind of get tired of it. You have a lot left over. And I did one in the previous start to finish where I had used a faith baseline and did a Disney page. And so I absolutely today, KK, I'm pulling out a kids line and I'm going to use it for this everyday photo of this amazing donut. Okay. And so what did I pull, which was absolutely a gift from another one of my subscribers, Scylla. She had gifted me this perfect princess by Lori Whitlock. Now what made me think of this was simply because of the pink and purple, nothing else because pink and purple together in a line. And then also to KK had said to me uh, about kids line. And so that's been on my brain and it's amazing uh, what supplies you pull for a page. What you use on a page is what's just been in your brain. And I love that because I definitely have some pink and purple. Okay. And then also to look at this sticker sheet. I mean, could this be any better? What does that say? Sweet. Yes. <laughs> Is that any better? Uh, so if you get out of the mindset that this has to be for little girls, has to be for Disney, which I am using this for Disney. Um, and I'm just looking at the color scheme. And so, of course, you can see I have so many choices. Look at all that pink and pink and pink. And then, of course, you know, you get into some purple. Look at that. Right there, I could use those two pieces of paper. I don't even have to go any further. I could use those two right there for this layout. 
Look at that. And so uh, there you go, KK. That is how quick you can use a kid's line for an everyday topic is just simply go by color. And then the patterns usually on the B side of papers are going to be your tone on tone or also a generic a generic image is what I'm trying to say. So that, see what I'm saying? There is the unicorns. I highly doubt I will ever use this page. Even for my, for my little girl, we just were never the unicorn type of gals. But this purple, oh, yes. Okay, so we have frogs. What do we have on the back of that? Carriage. Now, that's definitely a theme, but uh, you could, uh, yeah, you could get away using that frog, especially if you had a nickname named Frog, or you liked that game Frogger. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was a fun game. Okay, that was back in the Atari days. You know how uh, old I am. Okay, so uh, look at that. Perfect. 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 Okay. Now, I struggle with diagonal stripes, but I'll probably use that as a mat. And then we have basic yellow. Okay, that's theme. But the B side, totally on anything. And look at this purple. Yes, that's the back side of Fairy Garden. Okay, that you could use on a lot of pages too. But right there. So just look on the back sides of your kids' collection. If you're just not finding something that's working for you. Uh, you can definitely stretch your kids lines. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do. My generous gift from my lovely friend Scylla, Perfect Princess, I think will be perfect for this donut that was something good. Now, where is this donut found? Because a lot of people on the Disney boards will be looking for this, and it is really simple to find. It is in Tomorrowland if you go over by Space Mountain, uh, usually by the stage area, and um, it used to be the Speedway's there. I don't know if there's Speedway still there or not, but there's a little kiosk, and uh, it's the Joffrey's uh, kiosk, and they have these pink donuts there, and it is supposed to be quote, supposed to be a nod off to the uh, Simpsons pink donut, whatever that means. I have no idea anything about the show Simpsons and Homer and all that. I don't know anything, but that is supposed to be, uh, that's a nod to that. Uh, you know, because I think um, Universal has that, so this is supposed to be their nod to that. Uh, that's the that's the scuttlebutt. Okay, so what did I pull to go with this? So of course, you know, I'm dealing with donuts. So what am I going to do? I'm going to think of anything that has donuts, and I absolutely have a sticker pack that I bought a couple years ago because donuts is a big thing in my world. <laughs> like for most of us, because my hubby is, that is his uh, food of choice is donuts. And so I knew um, that I would definitely use that pack. And so of course I pulled that and then I knew that I had die cuts that went with Girl Squad, which I was just thinking about that collection the other day. And I knew they had some kind of donuts or coffee or something in their line. And uh, right here is the Girl Squad die cut. And right there's one donut. I may, oh no, there's another donut. See, I knew. Yes, right there's two donuts. So that'll give me another option of a die cut that's not a sticker. And what else do they have? They have this drink here. So it's different, you know, so in that turquoise, but it doesn't matter to me. But since I have this out, you know, I can just flip through real easily and see what else I can find as far as a donut or a cup of coffee. Because, you know, we can find those things pretty quick. And this is just die cuts I put in a composition book. I have the video linked below. Absolutely a quick and a cheap way to do this. And look how many collections I'm looking at. You know, look, just look how fast that is. I mean, I could just sit here all day. See, and there's a pink heart I could pull unforgettable see and I could introduce that color okay again pink so uh yes <laughs> I'll just okay I gotta stop here okay but you see what I'm saying any of these will work because I can just look oh the good it's the good stuff <laughs> oh, oh yes that's what I'm talking about yes sign me up because our prompt was about something good and that is why I love my die cuts in a composition book so I have that handy and then the only other thing I pulled because all I'm going to do is play with this collection, play with that die cut book. And then I just pulled a couple of these just purely for color. The pink, and then I have pink and purple here on these hearts. And I will tell you, this is a great deal at, uh, at Michael's. 220 of these little puffy heart stickers. Are they puffy? No, they're not puffy. Are they? Yeah, they got a little bit of squish to them, but 220 If you, even if you can't get them on sale, it's still a good deal. But on sale, yeah, that's that's a good deal. And then I found these carousel, only because if I looked it over and look what it said, it said sweet in pink. That's the only reason why I picked that. Again, a couple minutes to pull these supplies. I don't, I don't spend a lot of time doing that. So that is what I'm going to do for this absolutely the good stuff. <laughs> yes, the good stuff. <laughs> at Disney, uh, talking about these uh, Simpson pink donuts, uh, yes, found at Magic Kingdom in Tomorrowland. And so that is so fun because I will tell you, when I went to Disney 
uh, uh, last year and I went by myself, I had to find little things that made me happy because the trip to me was, you know, it was hard to get through. Uh, even though you're at Disney, you know, um, it's still hard to have, what am I trying to say? get it together here woman <laughs> what I'm trying to say is some moments there were not happy for me so being able to take these photos and relive them and pair them with something fun that's it's therapeutic for me instead of just looking at this trip as oh it, well, I was so lonely and so sad uh doing a layout with this that, what I'm saying is taking the sad into the glad yes that's what I'm talking about so thank you Alice thank you load and I will come back and I would love to have one of those donuts now I will tell you my husband saw those photos last night as I was printing them he says now where was that <laughs> because he didn't get one because he didn't get to go to the parks he was working so okay that is my uh, beginning of this start to finish and so come back and I will have the finished page okay hold on Okay, I'm back with my finished sweet page about these wonderful donuts at Magic Kingdom. And so what I did was I used a piece of the purple paper from this uh, Echo Park, uh, what is it called? Pretty Perfect Princess. Yes. And I used the purple and then I used this pink uh, sparkly looking page and then I matted it on top of this uh, diagonal stripe, multi-diagonal stripe. And then I did gut that because then I can use that for something else. There's no sense using all of that. But I will say that when you start gutting your papers, and I'll flip this over, um, be prepared if you're someone who uses lump and bump, things get a little bit um, weak. So um, don't always gut everything because you want some stability. But for this, it's not that bad. Okay. And so then if you look at my photos, they're in a grid fashion. And then I put that on a mat that is a block. And then my overall design from top to bottom is in a band. So yes, I have all three of those go-to designs in this layout. Because once you have those in the back of your mind, these go-to designs, the bare bones of things, it makes for easy, fast pages. And so that is what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do a visual triangle. I didn't want to do a diagonal design. I did an actual band design of this layout love that yes and of course because of this mat that helped me uh, do a lot of that band because that look how big that block is right there that grid of photos on that block in this band <laughs> design love how that happens yes okay so now if you notice in my photo collage that I definitely indeed used one of these Maggie Holmes uh, die cuts from this carousel pack and I put it right here in this photo grid and my margins are not all the same and I always say when you're working with die cuts and photos together don't worry if your seams are exactly perfect i mean this is a whimsical page so it's okay nothing has to be linear and perfect no we don't strive for that we strive for recording the story <laughs> Yes. And then, of course, I did uh, from that same uh, carousel pack, I used the word sweet and I put it right here because that basically is my title. And then I used my Wink of Stella and this is clear, glitter clear is what they call that. And I will we'll open that up. It's just a brush tip pen and inside is all this lovely sparkle. And so I just took this and I brushed it over the uh, word sweet. And I did this three times and I think for me three times this glitter then shows up and it's just a little bit of something but it, it's, it's just fun. It's very sweet. Yes. Now I will tell Tell you that I think people struggle using these brush of Stella pens and I will have a video listed below by Christina Warner and she showed how to prime and get these pens ready and I think it is absolutely one of the best videos about these pens because once you prime this then you're ready to go every time you open this it's ready to go you don't have to push it get it ready it's ready to go so I will have uh, Christina's video linked below I think it was a great video and then of course I just use other die cuts to help me tell my story the donuts my teacup uh, got a bread with some confetti on there got some sequins that was also from that Maggie Holmes uh, carousel pack this ephemera pack I don't know how many pieces was in this but this was a great pack it was from a couple years ago 50 pieces yes yeah, pretty great because not only is it die cuts but it's also buttons and sequins now these sequins uh, have some depth to them so they're not flat so for what I did is I took that sequin and I just added a little bit of foam tape and that's how I adhered them so when you do not have flat sequins how do you adhere them to your page because I'm anxious to see because I was thinking a uh, foam tape you know this little foam a foam adhesive that was the only way I knew to adhere them just cut up a little bit and then also too because of the prompt of doing something good something pink something sparkly which I got all of that on there I used some of these Dollar Tree gems and these are an entire pack 
for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And this is just a portion of the pack. And look how many you get on there. So I used some of the pink and just sprinkled them around. Uh, and again, got a visual triangle. So even in this band, I have a visual triangle of these pink sparkles. And then I have a visual triangle of these stars. So that is how you take the concept of that visual triangle and incorporate it into something structured as the band just within your embellishments. Yes. <laughs> I would give anything for one of those donuts. Yes. And I just added some little details about this. And I think that was all I wanted to say. Of course, I got my photo corners in there just to frame this a little bit more. But a very simple page, a very fun page. Yes, it looks kind of girly. Yes. <laughs> pink, pink, pink. Love it. Yes, this is the good stuff. Yeah. So I'm excited that I had this done. Uh, the load event is going very well. I am working on, I think this is day nine, but I'm working a few days behind everybody else, but that's not, I'm not doing on a fast track. I'm just doing it to enjoy the prompts and, and I load them when I load them. Yes, absolutely. So just because it's a layout a day, you don't have to do that. You can just take your time and enjoy it. But if you're someone who likes competition, getting that layout done each day is a huge motivator, especially for that mega prize at the end. Yes. So that is all I have today for this uh, cute little um sweet page and of course i did want to say that i did get that uh, donut on there from this michael pack this is a fun little pack now these have little uh smiley faces on them i'm not crazy for that look i believe it's called the kawaii look which sounds like hawaii but to me it looks like doodle bug <laughs> yes because a kawaii in japanese means uh in Japanese, it means cute and adorable, which is a doodle bug. But I just take those faces, and you can see on my layout, I just took a, one, a puffy sticker or a heart sticker, and I, I covered the items up. Because on this little um, blue ribbon, there was a rabbit. Well, I didn't want the rabbit, so I just covered it up with the sticker. So if you have an embellishment you want to use, whether it's a puffy or uh, a donut or a ribbon or anything, don't be afraid to take other flat elements and cover up whatever you don't want on that embellishment. I hope that makes sense. Yes, because I didn't want this kawaii look. No. Uh, and then uh, I just took a little heart sticker, covered it up, used it. And then, of course, I got a hidden Mickey on there somewhere. So see if you can find my hidden Mickey. Yes. That is all I have for today. Come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to learn. Bye. Bye.